Hey, how's it going? It's Jasper from Nomo Codes here. In today's software tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can quickly set up a software application by using one of the templates that they provided for us. Okay, on your software dashboard, you will get access to a bunch of starter templates. You can preview the templates from the browser or from the backend through the Airtable database provided. Once you've found a template that matches exactly your use case or comes pretty close um, to your use case, you can simply click on Use Template. We will then automatically create a copy of this template where we can see all of the pages have been created for us. And if we click on the header, we can see that um, all of the on-click actions have all been set up for us, which is really nice. That means this application is already working out of the box. However, all of the dynamic list blocks are still populating the data from the template. And if we click on it, it will say that we will need to first connect to our own Airtable to this project so we can populate our own data into the box. Software made it extremely easy to link the project to your Airtable database. Simply click on this link here. Once you are logged in on Airtable, you should be directed to this page where you can see this input box that contains your API key. For, for security reasons, API key only shows once you click on it. If you do not see these, then there should be a button for you to generate this key. Simply generate your key first, copy it, and then paste it into um, this input box on software side, and then click on connect to Airtable. Then we will be prompted to copy the template base. Simply click on this button, copy template base, you will be directed into the base. Now you will just need to click on the copy base button on the top right corner. Once this is done, come back to the softer side. You will see that this dropdown, which was previously disabled, is now activated. And you will just need to find the base that you just copied, which in my case is the inventory tracking system. Select it and then click on finish. Now all of the dynamic blocks become editable and you can see that all of the fields are already mapped to their respective tables and then fields from their table. To edit them, simply just delete the template data or change the data, populate the tables with your own data. On the side note, um, I have had users asking if there is a way, instead of doing the copy base uh, method, if there is a way to map the template straight into their own existing Airtable database. Um, the answer is yes, but I personally don't recommend it. And I will show you my rationale as I demo how you can achieve it. So let's go back to the dashboard and create another project with the same inventory management system template. And we will click on a dynamic block and then go through the same connect to error table flow again. Uh, once the API key is inputted and we're here to copy the template base. Um, now, instead of like, clicking on the copy base on the top right corner, we can simply go back to the software side and we will see that the dropdown is actually activated without copying the base. Now we can simply find your existing database and finish linking it. You will see that uh, there are some errors popping out here saying that the tables are not linked properly because they couldn't find the tables. The reason that caused this error is just simply because our database does not have a table that matches the template table name. So we will have to click on the block and then select our own table to populate the block. But we see that again, uh, most of the fields are actually no longer, no longer populated. They are no longer linked uh, because our table has no field names that matches the template field names. This means that in order for us to automatically populate the blocks with our own Airtable base, we have to first make sure that our table names matches the template and then we'll have to make sure that within each table, the field names will match their respective counterparts from the template tables. This requires a lot of effort before you connect to the base. And if you're not exactly familiar with software or Airtable yet, this could be very confusing as well. And it kind of slows down and kind of defeats the purpose of using a template to start with because template is supposed to speed up the process for you. Therefore, this method usually is not what I've uh, I would personally recommend, unless like you know exactly what you're doing, um, I would recommend just follow follow the softest flow. And there you have it. This is how you can speed up your softer building process by using the templates. And let me know if you have any other questions about using templates. 
or if you have any suggestions on what kind of templates that you want to see on Softa. Hope this video helped. If it did, please like and share this video. Subscribe to this channel for more and also follow me on Twitter to engage with me and just ask me anything. Until next time, ciao.